Hi there. I'm going to show you how to make a template in Speed Label. Um, if you go into your Speed Label, uh, go to Settings, up here at Settings, and then go to this section called Templates. And this is the information that's going to appear on the bottom of your label. So you can select from templates that are already existing that maybe we helped you when you did your onboarding setup, and then you can create new templates. So let's go ahead and uh, choose from the templates are designed to integrate with other systems. So you may be using Speed Folder. Um, if it's not an integrated system, you may be using Eased Edge, Action Flow, Moreware. Let's just grab Moreware for example. Okay. Now, now we're in the template. Now we can modify the template. A lot of people don't realize that the information that's at the bottom of the template that information can be any information that's in your system. So if you're using speed folder, if you're using more aware, action flow, all of this information down here at the bottom, there's 10 fields that will fit on the bottom of your labels. And it doesn't matter what size label. If you do a four by three, you still have 10. If you do a four by one, you still have 10. If you do a four by eight, this information down here at the bottom, there's 10 fields. And then sometimes there's the order of those fields that you want to adjust. So you can go through here and you can simply grab this little symbol right here and you can move the order and you can see it moved it. So let's do that again. Look, here's account name right at the bottom. And let's say I want it over here. I'm going to put it right there and there's account name on your label. And then once I hit update, that will then save this new format under this name. And you can have multiple templates, uh, multiple names. So you can have uh, a template that has different information on it. Maybe, for example, you have an edge label that you want at the end to have a 4 by one to have different fields uh, than your 4x8. Because typically you'll put your 4x8 on at the saw. Um, 4x1 goes on at QC when it's all done. So these fields on the 4x1 could be the installer, could be uh, the job, could be the room number if you're doing multi-unit projects. Um, whatever you want it to be, but the information on the 4x1 does not have to be the same information as the 4x1. That's controlled with the template. Just give it a different template name. Okay, what else can you do with templates? So you can reorder them. We just figured that out. You can remove fields by hitting the delete button if you don't want that field. You don't have to have 10. You can also go over here to the settings and you can make any field value appear as something else. So one of the ones that's kind of nice is a QR code. So you see that now that just made that job address a QR code. You wouldn't typically make a job address a QR code, but you might make something else a QR code that you wanted somebody to access, like a file or a program for your saw. Maybe you had a QR code to get to your, um, your AlphaCam files for your saw or something. Um, there's lots of reasons why you might want a QR code. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move that back to text. But you can also put images on the label. You could make it into a barcode if you want like that. Um, but text is the most common. So just to let you know, you can do that. So you can reorder, delete, add fields up to 10. One other new feature is we have some companies that use this barcode. They always ask what this is for. Um, a few people actually will scan this barcode uh, throughout their process. Um, generally, they're probably a really big company and they're just kind of using it to track their parts. Um, they don't track the parts in Speed Label. We don't do that, but they do have their own systems maybe that they've built out. And so they want to track the barcode of the part. For a lot of people, that's kind of annoying and not useful. So one of the features we added recently was the ability to remove that barcode. So then when you save this, that way when you go to Speed Label, you go to print, that barcode won't be on it. So you can get rid of the barcode. If you're not using that, which most people are not, then you can go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, that's how to do a template. But yeah, don't be afraid to add multiple templates, multiple fields. Um, some people, honestly, we see them years later and they're like, I didn't know I could change the information from when Yoshi set me up. So feel free. Uh, if you wanna watch this video again and again, uh, just go down here to watch demo and that's, you'll get uh, this. Okay, thanks.